Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> you gonna go check on the boys real quick. Okay. Thank you for letting me know so I wouldn't worry if I woke up and you weren't here. I love you too, pretty lady. Crying? <laughs> you can sit on the bed, sure. I don't care. Because I wasn't crying. Just, just be quiet. Julian's out. No, I don't want to talk about it. Nothing to talk about. Just get him in. Just, I don't know, sweat out his eyes or something. Shut up with this science. It could happen. Did Grandma and Grandpa really want you to get rid of me? Because of me being born basically kept you attached to Dad. They could already see that he was getting abusive. Uh. Hmm. It's always so hard to see you two separated, you know? I saw the bad times, but the good times just seem so good. When you gave him the divorce papers, I didn't understand. I thought it was my fault, you know? I know. Somewhere in me, I know it's not my fault. No, Dad was a bad person. He hurt you. He hurt me. He hurt Julian. But it's so hard not to remember the man that used to at least pretend to be good. You don't like Julian more than me, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. You had that I love my children equally ready to go. Always prepared, huh, Ma? <sighs> How'd you know to come check on me anyway? And if you say motherly instincts, I'm gonna go question Aldo where the cameras are. I best not. Oh, really? Why is that? Blah. Of course he sleeps in the buff. God damn it. That ruins so many of my prank ideas. True, you are doing me a solid. It's nothing scarier than an angry man being woken up in a nude by a good prank. No one now, though, he'd chase me down and throw me in the fucking ocean. Oh, we need to make sure Julian has a floaty, by the way. Dumb bastard can't swim. Why would I throw him in the ocean after telling you that? Okay, okay. The intrusive thoughts were there, but Jules is my brother. Gotta haze him a little bit, you know? Otherwise he'd think I didn't like him. Ma, guys bully each other to show affection, just like women call each other bitches to show affection. It is what it is. Not that my sweet, kind, beautiful, forgiven mother would uh, ever be called such a foul word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought there was a pretty good recovery, too. Are you gonna call Grandpa? Yeah, no. Meet up with him? You're asking me if I'm okay with it? Ma, they're your parents. Your family. Even if they don't want me. Of course I know you want me. And I know you'd do it, okay? I know you'd go radio silent with them to protect me and my feelings. But you've put your feelings on the back burner for 20 damn years for me. 
Don't let me hold you back anymore, okay? If you go talk to him, I want to go too. Is that okay? Thanks, Ma. Also, Julian, you can ask for a hug, you know. You don't gotta sit there trying to pose yourself to look like you're extra huggable in your sleep. Sh shut up. I was just trying to get my hip hurt so I wasn't eavesdropping. The sappy talk is already done, you liar. Sheesh. Yes, please. To the hugs. I'm sorry I interrupted. Mm -hmm. Thanks, and... Um... Thanks for letting Danny come with, if you call. He's been wanting answers since Grandpa showed up. But, you know he can be insecure. He also has reasonably good hearing! T sorry Love, Love you too, Ma. Ma. Good night. night. Sugar Mama. Mm-hmm. Don't you worry about a thing right now, okay? Let's just enjoy our new boat. Enjoy the quiet time with our boys. And we'll start fresh in the morning, all right? I have you. Whatever you decide. I love you, too. Beans. Ow! Oh, Miss... I was right in the nip. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the beans must have made you blind, huh? <laughs> Message received, my feisty love. I love you too, sugar mama. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Mm-hmm. Good night.